Hey, Gemini, what's up, my friend? Now, I just finished watching a video, and I did make a comment to the video, but I had a lot more to say, so I felt like making a video response to, to this. You know, I understand what you're talking about. You know, um, in terms of, like, people talking about the past, like, I, I grew up personally, I grew up with late 80s WWF. Like, that was my genre of wrestling, early um, 90s WWF. Like, I lived for that. I loved that era in wrestling. You know, WCW back in the day, NWA, AWA, WCCW, Smoky Mountain. You know, I watched it all. And I do understand the settlement that people don't talk about the past a lot. You know, in terms of WCW, I think in a, in a sense like the IWC feels like it's not cool to talk about WCW because people only want to talk about the Monday Night War era, the Attitude Era in, in a sense, when WCW was bursting going up against WWF. And this seems like that's when WCW like made their mark in a sense. That's when they got on the map. But uh, you know, WCW has a rich history and people do not talk about that at all. I agree with you. They don't want to talk about old stuff. Like a lot of the IWC in general and I, and you know, I don't want to say it's because it's a lot of younger fans, you know, and the younger fans are only gonna really talk about nineties, like late nineties wrestling and, and up. But the thing is it's kinda of true in a sense. No, um, there are people here on YouTube that do talk about old stuff, and uh, they talk about the past, and, you know, history is history. You know, if you're a wrestling fan in general, I always tell people this, if you're a wrestling fan in general, you have to watch early, late 80s wrestling and early 90s wrestling because that's where wrestling really took its mark. And for me, like, the first match I ever saw that got me being a wrestling fan was basically I watched... Ricky Steamboat versus Randy Savage for the kind of how do I WrestleMania 3? I mean, once I saw that match, I was hooked. <laughs> and I am at fault as well because I don't talk about nostalgia. I don't talk about old wrestling, like my kind of wrestling in my era. I don't talk about that, that a lot. And I do realize that I, I just, you know, when he was like, talking about it, I realized that I'm, I'm at fault as well. Like, I don't talk about what I really want to talk about at times because I feel like even though it's my t my channel and I feel like I, I can say whatever I want like I just feel like if I talk about it you know people ain't gonna really respond to that because it's true like people like you you you'll talk about something and they're 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 gonna you know you might not get the view the views for it you might you might not get any kind of comments for it or if you do get comments it's gonna be like hater comments and it's just ridiculous you know you know in terms of like wrestling now I do like feel like ROH is definitely the future of wrestling. I mean, their product is superb. And it's something that I really wish you would take a look at more about because, like I was telling you, the, the talent-wise, and, you know, we all know wrestling was really good back in the day, but now in mainstream wrestling, you know, WWE and TNA, they're not producing the product that a lot of people like. And that's why you get a lot of people on here talking about indies. They want to talk about Chikara. They want to talk about PWG. They want to talk about ROH. They want to talk about, you know, Dragon Gate, in a sense. And that's something that's getting more and more popular. You know, indies are very, um, and from my, in my estimation, you know, indies should be supported. Indies need to be talked about more. And you get more indie talk a lot on YouTube, which is really good, in my opinion, because you just can't support mainstream wrestling all the time. I mean, is it okay to support it? But you got to support other products. And so it's good that people want to talk about other promotions because you talk about the same stuff over and over again and it's going to get kind of boring and redundant. And, you know, people do talk about the same stuff over and over again a lot on here and it does get redundant after a while. So it would be nice to talk about WCW or NWA or, you know, WWF days. And I'm going to start doing that myself because I definitely want to start doing that more. But uh, I understand what you're saying, Gemini. I totally agree with you. But I do suggest that you do take a look at, you know, some more indie stuff. I mean, even though you're a big, you know, WCW mark and uh, WWF mark, and that's cool. That's fine. You know, that's your, that's that's on, that's you, and that's great. You know, you should feel able to talk about whatever you want. You shouldn't care. I mean, even though I mean, it's okay. It's, you know, even though you might get the, you know, like you say, you hate comments, or might not get people interested in wanting to hear what you have to say. But it's your channel, and it's your opinion, and if you want to say something, say it. And I suggest you keep going on and talking about WCW and all those other, you know, past wrestlings and uh, matches of the of the past, because that's what you like to do. So, you, you know, keep, definitely keep on doing it, my friend. Keep on doing it. And, you know, I definitely think you're going to get a lot of people watching this. And I think I've seen a, lot of, a couple of people already give you some video responses, which is pretty cool. And on top of that... 
you know, I do suggest that you look, take a look at ROH. Like, I really suggest that you take a look at ROH. You know, if you haven't, you know, get some DVDs of them because there's some really good shows, man. You want, I know you love wrestling and you want some good quality type of wrestling, then, you know, ROH is your, your brand, it's your product that you need to take a closer look at, okay? So that's definitely what I want to say for now. And uh, great video, by the way, and uh, take it easy, my friend. Peace.